Cowley. In this programme, I'm going to be looking at classroom routines, the things that children are expected to do every day. Put your hand up if you haven't got your piece. I'm going to be working with Baz Barrett and his Year 3 class at Ward End Primary School in Birmingham. Bonjour, Dion. Ward End is in a tough area of Birmingham and, along with many schools, often has some challenging behavioural issues to take on. Baz is keen to learn some new strategies to help him deal with inappropriate behaviour in his classroom. Later on, I'll be discussing with him how he got on and be giving him some help and advice. But first, we're going to look at Baz and Year 3 to see some of their typical classroom routines. Morning, Cameron. Morning, Irene. Morning. One Chantel. Good girl. Sit down for me. Oh, wow. Is this about your country? Smashing. Fantastic. Good lad. OK, ladies and jelly beans, sit down for me, please. Sit down then, missus. Good girl. I should have everybody sitting down now. Bonjour, Adam. Bonjour, Kenneth. Bonjour, Ramel. Good boy. Bonjour, Manuel. No man well today. Scores on the doors in five, four, three, two, one, zero. I'll start off with Brazil. Smashing. Right. Let's see how sensibly Brazil can go and sit down on that carpet. How quietly can you do it? You're talking, telling tales. So you've lost the point straight away. That's better. But on the whole, that was very, very good. I'm going to give you four points, Brazil. I'm going to give you three points, because you're talking. And you're telling tales and other people. Five, four, On square D4, there's a smiley face. In four minutes time, I'm going to let you go to lunch. But I just have to speak to you about your behaviour in the playground. Let's just remember those golden rules. Do be gentle. Do be kind and helpful. Do work hard. Do look after property. Okay, son, out you go. Ciao, Chantal. Ciao, Ciao, Solomon. April, tell me everything. Charlotte and Jodie went for a run. I went up by the trees. They couldn't find me, then they found me. Do you want to go over to the corner, over there? Just solve your difficulties together, all right? Just quickly, just solve those difficulties for me, like sensible juniors do. Eyes on me, please. Now, Dion, I need you to stand up. Now then. Daniel got into a lot of trouble at lunchtime because of his business with the ball. He went trees. by the trees and talking. Can we read in our heads, please? Do you know what I expect you to do? Do you know the right way? Seriously. Because if you don't know the right way, then on Monday, I can show you the right way. I'll show you around the whole school, and I'll show you how children in this school behave. Charlotte's doing her own drawing. You should be doing your own drawing. Do I have to separate you from the rest of your group? I hope I don't have to. One last chance. I said to you, if you get out of your seat one more time, if you've got another argument to have for somebody, then that's it. It's your last chance. Michael, into 3C for 15 minutes. I'm not happy. Out you go. Make sure he goes next door and thank you. One week later, and I've invited the very tall Baz to meet up with me out of school so we can assess what went on in his classroom. 
So, Baz, tell me, just how tall are you? Um, I'm uh, six foot eight. Six foot eight? Yeah. Wow, that must have an influence on what happens in your classroom. I suppose it does. It's something I don't really think about very much anymore. But yeah, I, I guess I see me as an authority figure, I suppose. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Okay, should we have a look at some of the stuff that happens in your classroom yeah, around okay. routines, those sort mm. of things? Okay. Start of the day, break times, and so on. Yeah, go put your drawer away, good boy. This is the start of the day, yeah. So they all come into the classroom now. Sure and they come in in dribs and drabs, is that They right? do, yeah. <laughs> the bell goes and school doesn't start for ten minutes, but they're allowed to go into the classroom. There's usually a, a little activity um, to settle them down. What words? They're coming in a few at a time. Yeah. You need to have this kind of snap moment. Day is starting, everybody this way, sitting down. You're going to start the day. OK, now, I know it's quite a hard thing to ask you to do, mm. but I'd be tempted to take that register standing up. OK. It makes a point about you as a teacher. Mm. If I'm stood up, I can see what's happening around the room. Mm. What, what would you do if, uh, if you were taking the register standing up and, you know, a parent came in or...? I, like I would be tempted just to ignore them. I mean, to be honest, they must know when mm. the school day starts. You have a right to certain expectations mm. of the behaviour of the children and of the behaviour of the parents. Mm. It's not so much being rude mm. as saying, you know, my day has started. I'll start off with Brazil. Smashing. Can you tell me about this scores on the doors? Well, it's a way of focusing them, really. Um, and getting them ready to learn when I've got something when you need to, to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I noticed that you were scoring them quite frequently. Yeah. And it was taking quite a lot of your time. Um, yeah. When do they actually assess how many points they've got? What, At what the end of the week, yeah. So they don't get an instant reward no, for... No, no. Could think... you make it a bit harder to earn? There's mm. only one set of scores on the doors available mm. each time. Only one group can get three points for this. With rewards, if you make them really hard to earn, mm. the currency is much more valuable. Most of my lessons start off on the carpet, right. so I can get them focused. Do you find it takes a while to get them settled on the carpet? Sometimes, yes. Yeah, yeah but yeah. they need that focus. They need to. We need to come together as a class. Because often, when children are sat on the carpet, they start to get a bit restless and yes, they know, stop yeah, listening. Yeah. Perhaps even think about giving yourself a time limit for that carpet session, mm. maybe five minutes maximum. Yeah. Daniel got into a lot of trouble at lunchtime because of this. It's been a bit of a hairy lunchtime. Okay. And um, I've heard things from dinner ladies and from other teachers. Um, and I've also spent some time in the canteen with the children as well. So after lunch, they need to bring it back into the classroom and settling. Do you want to go over to the corner and just solve your difficulties together, right? It takes you sort of 10 to 15 minutes mm. to effectively have a nag at them. Now, when you're trying to talk about behaviour with mm. the class as a whole, mm. you need to almost put on a character and say to the children, you know, I'm your teacher, I'm in charge. Mm. So you stand there and you right. say, right, children, I understand there's been some issues at lunchtime. OK, I'm very sympathetic, but we're here in the classroom to learn. And we're back in routine. Yeah, we're back because in Because otherwise, we're not learning, mm. we're faffing around. Yeah. Yeah? OK. Do you want to have a try at that? Yeah, Six foot eight then. and all, then. Go oh, on, I'm you your entire class. Go on, okay. scare me. OK, right, listen. Uh, lunchtime's over now, the bell's gone, it's over. We're back in the classroom now, we're here to learn. So whatever problems you've got, you leave them at the door. You're in here to learn now and listen to me. Great. They're here in the classroom, they're here to learn. That mm. is your focus as a teacher. Yeah. yeah? Behaviour management is only ever about allowing them to learn. OK, it's not about anything else. It's not about a power struggle, it's not about having control. Mm. It's about giving them the space to learn. Course, yeah. okay. Can we read in our heads, please? Now, can you tell me about any children that cause you some difficulties in your classroom in terms yes. of behaviour? Yeah, we've got Michael here. He's a smashing lad. When he's on the ball, he's um, very, very clever. He gets on well with his work, um, but sometimes his behaviour slips. Um, what sort of things does he do? What does um, he have problems with? I think it's a concentration thing sometimes. Right. And one thing I'd suggest with children who have concentration issues mm. is to keep the targets as short yeah. as you can, which yeah. you're obviously doing. Complete yeah. this task, Michael, and then, and then we can yes. give you a reward. Oh. Now, what's happening here with Michael? Are you having yeah. to send him out? Michael, into 3C. Oh. I've spoken to him 
a number of times during the afternoon. And I right. actually, the previous time, I'd let him know how many times I had spoken to him. I said, I've spoken to you 10 times now this afternoon. One more time and you're out. And he had his last chance. And, uh, okay. And now, out. this is a classic thing, mm -hmm. a classic mistake that we make. Mm. We don't want to send a child no, out. No. We don't want to punish a child. Of course not. So you keep this thing where you say, if you do that again, I'm going to punish you. And they do it again and you don't punish them. Mm. If you do that again, I'm going to punish you, and they do it again. Mm. And so poor old Michael's getting mixed messages here. And eventually Sir says, I've told you ten times. Now, Michael isn't keeping an account, mm. and it will help Michael if you can keep it short. So mm. maybe three strikes so three and you're strikes out. Course, but yeah. don't instigate that without sitting and talking it through with him. Mm -hmm. Give him some kind of visual way of remembering what strike he's on. You might have the traffic light cards. Yeah. So you give him some way of understanding and controlling his own behaviour. So, Baz, I hope you found some of that useful. Yes. Good. Now, I'm coming into your classroom in a couple of weeks' time, and between now and then, you're going to have a think about how you might put some of these things into play. Yeah. One of the things I'd like to look at is those moments when the children enter the classroom. So, mm. start of the day, after mm. breaks, after lunchtime, yep. finding a way of focusing the class together, yep. having a moment when the learning starts. Yeah. Something else I'd like to look at is your reward systems. How can mm -hmm. we make them more effective, mm -hmm. more concentrated and less time consuming for okay. you? And then the other thing I'd like to look at is the way you time your lessons. So can we minimise carpet time, time to avoid disruptions? Mm -hmm. How can we get the lesson pace up a bit? Two weeks later, and I've come to Baz's school to see how he's getting on with his classroom Good routine. Good morning, Mr Barrett. Good morning, Danny boy. Good morning, Mr Barrett. Good morning, Chantel. I'm going to tuck myself away in the corner here and see how Baz gets on with focusing his children's attention. OK, well done. What a smashing start. <laughs> now, with me today, I've got Miss Cowley. She's with us today and she's going to watch you working, OK? And she's going to watch me teaching as well. Just quickly, in partners, I want you to discuss what this bar chart up here is all about. You've got about 30 seconds. Go. If one thing you didn't give them is a signal to stop. In a second, I'll stop them again. And we're going to take a chatting in a second as well. Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, see how it works. works. Yeah. Yeah. Or even do something silly like when I put my finger on my nose, that's your cue to stop. Yeah? When I want you to stop, I'll put my finger on my nose. Okay? <laughs> Go! It might take slightly longer for them to respond, but what you do get is you stop using your voice so much. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Bess, how do you feel it's been going? Do you Good, think? yes, yeah. yeah. Um, well, there's a couple of things I took on board. Um, pace was one, um, not rambling on too much getting the kids in, on, on task straight yeah. away, yeah. You know, really yeah. sharp. Brilliant. And also settling them down at the start of a lesson. Yeah, so get, getting that focus from yeah. them. Yeah, you know, break time's over. Yeah, and they're time, really looking at lesson. you, focusing on the learning. Mm. Fantastic, yeah. you've done so well. Thank you. Well yeah. done. Giving children a focused start and plenty of routine during the school day is the key to getting better behaviour. <laughs>